I'm working too hard. Are you working too hard too? So I did some, some looking into what working too hard actually does. Is it good or is it bad? Will it actually advance your career? I'm going to tell you a little bit out, about that in just a moment. My name is Beate Chalette. I'm the founder of The Women's Code and also known as a growth architect. So when you are getting into a job or you work, you build your own business, there comes a point where you get the momentum and then you get to the tipping point. And then when the tipping point happens, you better have your foundation in place because once it tips, it tips and then the, the, the boulder rolls. So you have to be prepared for when that moment happens and have that foundation with all those different elements in place, right? But to get to that point, you know, the pushing the boulder uphill on whether you're employed or independent like me, it means that you have to put the time and the hours in to get stuff done. And then you have to take on more things that you normally wouldn't take on or that are not specifically in your job description because you have to get that network out, right? Because networking is everything. It's, they always say it's who you know. And a lot of that is really true because people hire people who they have a connection with, people who they like. So suddenly I'm here and I've been literally working for the last... I want to say month. I've worked every single weekend, like a full Saturday. And then on Sunday, I've just been catching up with a few things. Needless to say, my relationship, uh, not so good, uh, because I'm never there. And when I'm there, I'm distracted. And then there are all these other things that are happen to me physically. I've been getting lots of migraines. You know, I'm feeling out of balance. You know, my body's feeling kind of ugh. I'm not eating well because who has time to cook all these home-cooked meals? So suddenly there's a lot more takeout. So it's like the snowball effect. When you are in this, in this moment in your, in your career where you're really having that momentum, I think now requires us to take this moment of pause. So I've looked at a statistic, which I thought was really interesting, where it says, and this is a study from the City University of London, where they said that does it really help you when you work hard in your job? And it says when you're working hard in your job, actually sometimes it's detrimental to your career. And you know why? It's a sim really simple, stupid reason because other people hate you for it. Because they don't want to get your emails on Saturday. They don't want to get your emails on Sunday. And they don't want to get your pressing emails at 10 o'clock at night or at 6 o'clock in the morning. Because guess what they're thinking? Here's a two good, goody good shoes. How do you say that? I don't even know how to say that. You know, it's like that's what happens when you translate German things into American sayings or try to get American sayings and remember them and then Germanize them or however that kind of convoluted thing goes. But I think you know what I mean. Try to avoid um, bombarding people with things in hours and I'm totally guilty of it in the last month. Uh, and I'm going to stop this now because I'm catching myself, which is why I'm doing this video as this is, my, this is my pause. So working hard is not necessarily good for your career for that reason that other people really dislike you for um, putting the bar so high that it robs them of their personal lives and their sanity and their work-life balance. So let's be mindful of that. And I think that's sort of the trigger effect that we're looking for when it comes to a good work-life balance. Be the change you want to see in the world. And this is a message from Beate Chalet, the founder of The Women's Code. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and tell everybody about it so I can build up my subscriber base and uh, reach more people. Thank you again.